Hey, what is going on guys? This is ZK and I'm here with a tutorial on how to do some easy buildables. This is actually something that uh, people have been asking for for a long time. Um, I didn't want to release the script from Prison Mission because that one was a little bit buggy in the sense that if you tried to add, like you could add all three parts at the same time and then it would glitch out, you know, the knuckle cracking and you wouldn't get your weapon back and things like that. So it was little things like that that I wanted to fix. And I also wanted to add HUD support so that when you have a part, you know, it shows up on your HUD, you know, above the round indicator and stuff to let you know that you have that part so you don't forget for bad people uh, with memories like me. Um, but anyway... Uh, what you're gonna do is in the description, it's gonna link you to custom zombies. Shoot, I gotta actually have to go and find it now. Uh, I closed the window by accident. My bad. Um, it's gonna take you to this tutorial here. Uh, there we go. All right, so this tutorial right here, um, where you'll find the actual script for this, and I'm gonna walk you through the process of how to get um, the the uh, the buildables working with the HUD and all that stuff. So first things first is you're gonna want to go to your Call of Duty World at War root folder raw maps and you want to grab a GSC out of there it doesn't matter what it is um, grab that and name it underscore buildables let me just make sure I spelled that right build apples okay you know because you know leave it to me to uh, spell something wrong so oh remember in that uh, oh what was that prison mission trailer where it was like I spelled December wrong by accident I actually accidentally had a typo and put the e uh, there. Oh, that was that was pretty funny. And Spider was like, ah ha ha. But anyway, <clears throat> so you're gonna want to paste uh, that script from the Custom Zombies website into this new Buildables GSC. You can go ahead and add yourself right here if you make changes to the script itself. Um, doesn't matter to me. So you can close that. Go ahead and copy that script to mods, your map name, which is whatever and maps so go ahead and paste it in there i think i already had a buildable script in there so all right guys so we're here in radiant and i have the uh buildable power switch set up i just have the 2x icon there just because you know that's the third part that we're going to build i just grabbed it because it's like the first thing i saw so we have this is what all the parts are going to look like um when you finish building them make sure you have the switch set up like i do don't have it on the bottom have it on the top because when you activate the power it'll move down that does not apply to you guys if you're not doing the power switch buildable anyway um, make sure that these are script brush models if you don't or, or script models excuse me if you don't know how to do that select it and go to script model like so then you got to select the next one don't do them all at once it won't work that way um, there you go and script model so there you go so now you have a uh, script model for all of these like that um, did I hit script brush model by accident I might have done that okay anyway so now we got that set up First, these are the ones that are built, okay? So, for, like, when, when after you build them, they show up like this. So, that's the ones that we're doing. So, we need to do all these panel build, handle build, wire build. So, it's pretty it's pretty straightforward that way. You select the, uh, let me get this here. How come I can't select you? I hate it when it does this. There we go. Sometimes you can't select script brush models, or script models for some reason. It's really annoying. Anyway, so we're going to do... Target name, wire build, like so. Let me just make sure that's right. Target name, wire build, yep, all right. So target name, wire build. Next we're going to do target name, handle build. Now guys, if you're not doing the power switch buildable, I suggest changing, I mean, you can change the target names if you want to, I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, the target name, wire build for that third part. Um, if you, it, it, it's up to you really because it might make, following this tutorial, if you keep the same KVPs, it might make it easier for you, but you might get confused with what you're doing. Just make sure that you're getting the, the KVPs right as we go through this tutorial. So we need to add four trigger uses if you're doing the power switch. If you're not doing power switch, then you only need three, depending on what you're uh, planning to do with this buildable. All the, the three triggers are for the parts, and then there's one to turn on the power, so that's why I have four. First one, we're gonna do target name, wire build, trig, and that one will add this 2x icon. Next thing we need to do is we need to do handle build trig. That will build the, the handle right here. So it'll do the press and hold F all to put on that part, okay? And for the panel, it's panel build trick and all these kvps are in that script itself so it shouldn't be too hard for you guys to find them and target name uh, i think it's power turn on if i'm 
if I remember correctly. Let me check quick. Turn power on. Excuse me. It's not that. It's turn power on. Turn power on. Too straightforward. All right. So we got our four triggers ready. And that's all you need to do for that. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to copy this. And now we're going to add the actual parts that our person goes and picks up. So here, we basically copy that. And then you can just do target name, panel, pick. So it's like panel picking up, you know? And after you do that, you want to add a trigger right next to it. Trigger use. Dun, 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 like so. Target name, uh, I think it's panel pick trig, if I remember. Um, let's see. Panel pick trig, yep, okay. Panel pick trig, all right. We are good to go. There's that, and now we'll add the other part right here. Um, we'll do the handle next, so you grab the handle, move it over here, probably set it on the ground. We'll just uh, kind of set it like so, maybe flip it over, make it look a little bit nicer. And change the target name to handle pick trig. Handle pick trig. Leave, I'll probably have a KVP wrong somewhere in this tutorial because <laughs> I, I'm, I pretty much guarantee that. So then we want to add the trigger. And we do handle pig pick trig. Wait, maybe I added the trigger wrong on this one. Yeah. Make sure you get these KVPs right, guys. Do exactly as I'm doing. Uh, if I go back and change something, this one should, the uh, the handle itself should just be handle pick, and the trigger is handle pick trig. So, do that. Um, let's see. Next, uh, we'll add the other part over here next to the prison mission uh, puzzle test. I thought about doing uh, the prison mission puzzle, like making that into a tutorial. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? <laughs> you might get a bit confused trying to work with that. Uh, it was it was a little bit of a project to get working, but you know. Um, so this one here is wire build. So we need to target it as wire pick. Remember, this is your third model. Okay, this is the third part that you're picking up. And there we go. So do target name, wire pick, trig. There. And I believe that's it for the Radiant stuff. So you can position those three parts anywhere you want on the map, and then you assemble them right here, all right? So that's basically all we need to do for that. Next, we have to set up the HUD icons, right? Because we want the HUD icons to appear so we know what parts we have, which is you know, a really cool touch uh, like Black Ops 2 head. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to remember the names of those models that you picked for the buildables so you can take pictures of them, actually. So we know that we need this one right here, right? We know that we need this piece or this model right here. I encourage you guys to get Gazoo, I think it's called. Uh, Pac-Man showed me this. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. Um, you can just double click and then you can drag where you want to take the picture. And then you let go and it takes a picture and it actually uploads it here. So you have a link for it so if you want to send it to somebody. So you're going to want to do this for all three parts. Save the picture to your desktop then you can go ahead and close it. So now we need the power lever handle. So you can go ahead and I don't know how you want to uh, take the picture. Try to do it so that you get the blue background, not any of this uh, gray garbage. This way that you can select the blue background very easily in an image editor and delete it. So all you have is just that that one image. Um, so let's grab Zoo thingy, whatever it's called again. We'll snap another picture. And we're going to save this to the desktop like so. Done. Next, we're going to grab, uh, what was our third part? Oh, yeah, that 2x thing. So we want to grab, um, let's see, x2, I think it's called. I can't remember what it's called. Zombie 2x, x2. There we go, x2 icon. All right, so we want to grab that, and we'll take a snapshot of that, like so. Save the image to the desktop. All right. So now we have our three images right here. Now I'm going to use paint.net because it supports DDS images, which I like. You don't need a plugin for it. So if you don't have paint.net, if you use your other image editor, it really doesn't matter. Um, whatever you want, as long as you can save it as a DDS. All right. So here we have our parts. First thing you're going to need to do is grab your selection tool so you can select all the stuff around it and delete it so that you can just have the shader itself. All right. Now, 
Um, the next thing you're going to need to do is you're probably going to want to uh, grab the image here, like so. Ah, I'm failing miserably. You want to grab the image, and you're going to probably want to crop that, like so, and then resize it to... Uh, 128 by 128, it almost seems really small because you're going to see how it gets ex like a little pixelated like that. But really, it doesn't matter considering that the, the shader itself on your screen is going to be really small. So you're going to be seeing it from like this far out, which isn't bad uh, of itself. So we're going to save it like that. Do 128 by 128. That's probably the best idea. And you're going to want to save it as, uh, um, what was it? I should have renamed uh, these pre catch shaders, otherwise I'm going to have to overwrite the ones that I have now. We're going to do buildable, buildable, buildable. You won't have to edit these, guys. I'll make sure that that's edited in the description later. Um, but we're going to do that. All right, so save your image as whatever it says here in the script, like so, as a, as a direct draw surface. So save that. Next, we'll do the same thing with this image, delete. We're going to take this. Yeah, I want to make sure it's a square or close to a square. Crop to selection, resize 128 by 128, like so. Save as a direct draw surface as buildable panel shader. And make sure, guys, that you are matching the the image name here, or the image name with the actual part. So this is the panel buildable panel shader. You see where I'm going with that? Just you know, this is buildable handle shader. Now we're on buildable wire shader. So go ahead and delete that. We're going to select the whole thing, crop to selection, resize 128 by 128, like so. Save as a direct draw surface. Um, buildable wire and direct draw service. All right, so we should have our three images right here. Next, we get to do the, the fun part, which is converting them. Go to raw and images, and we're going to paste those images in here. Like so, so we have our three images in Call of Duty World at War raw images. Go to asset manager. <laughs> and you're going to want to open up your, you know, whatever you use to edit your custom textures. And I may have to um, make some changes here. Let me just scroll down a bit. Nope, I don't. Sweet. There we go. Just making sure. Yeah. So here we go, guys. We're going to do buildable handle shader. And you want to set your settings exactly the same as I have them on screen right now. So buildable handle shader .dds, looking for your image that you just made. This is the buildable handle shader. Make sure you have it titled the same as I do, because that's what the script is going to be looking for is this material. So set everything the way I have it set here. Once you do that, you go ahead and convert it. So we do the handle first. Now we're going to copy the entry, and we're going to do the buildable panel shader. So change all this to panel. And done. Now we're going to copy it again, and we're going to do buildable wire. There we go. And when it's done here, perfect. Done. So we have our three W our IWIs here. Go to your root folder. Go to mods. Um, Nazi zombie test two images and paste your images into your images folder, all right? Your mods, Nazi zombie map name, images. Let's see, what else is there? I think that's about it. Last thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to open up um, Nazi zombie test two here. And at the very bottom, type in material. Um, let's see, nope, buildable. Panel shader and material buildable wire shader and material buildable handle shader. Now, somewhere along the way, I make sure you check these images here. Somewhere along the way, I probably had a typo, so we'll hope that I didn't. But if I did, 
Uh, the other, the last thing we need to do, very last thing, Nazi Zombie, your map name. Open up your Nazi Zombie map name.gsc. This file could be located in raw maps, just so you guys are aware of that. Um, what's the name of the function? Okay, we're just going to call main. All right. So right over here in the preload, I want you to type the following. Maps, that little slash thing. Buildables, colon, colon, main, like that. All right, you should be able to see that on screen. If you can't, I'll make sure that that's in the description, but uh, I'm pretty sure you can. So go ahead and type that. Make sure you get that in your map name.gsc because that's what's actually going to call the script. So go ahead and paste that in. Um, let's see, make sure you check the script in your mod builder here. So we gotta find buildables. Yeah, make sure it's checked. So it's right there. And we should be good to go. We'll build the mod here. I'll make sure I get no errors right off uh, with like missing uh, things in response to this. It looks like I'm not. So I'm gonna pause the recording quick and I'll come back to you after I've compiled the map and built the mod. All right, I'll be right back, guys. Hey guys, I'm sorry about the wait, and uh, oh wait, no, <laughs> you didn't have to wait because you are watching the video. Anyway guys, I'm about to uh, launch the map here. That was cheesy, I know, extremely cheesy. Uh, but I had to actually move the entire thing to a different map because my test 2 map is like just absolutely demolished. There's way too much stuff going on, and I accidentally like deleted a bunch of stuff in there so it wouldn't launch, and I was having issues with that. So anyway, I put everything in here. Um, the buildable is right here, so this is where you're actually going to be able to assemble everything. So right here, press and hold F or L to pick up part, click, and there you go. You can see on the bottom left hand corner of the screen, I have that little uh, doohickey there indicating that I have picked up that part. Let's go pick up this one. There you go, I have that, and these are the images we created in paint.net, just in case you didn't know that, <laughs> but I'm sure you did. There we go, now we have all three parts here. Let's hope I don't get killed by these stinking zombies. Get out of the way. I fool. Okay, press and hold F for all to add part. So click. I'm also clicking the button over and over again right now, and it will not let me add the part until I finish adding the next part. So that's really cool. See, I continue. I can't uh, put the part on. Now I can put it on because I finished putting on the other part. Boom. So there we go. We finished putting on all the parts. Now press and hold F for all to turn on power, and I almost got killed again. Zombies, you get out of here. Oh my goodness. Here, let me see if I can get it. There we go. There we go. So the power got turned on there, in case you didn't hear. Um, and anyway, that's basically the whole buildable script. Um, it, it works really well, guys. I haven't had any issues with it. Uh, this is the same one I'm using in Cheese Cube Unlimited, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that uh, the cells of you guys who have a little bit of scripting experience know what to do uh, in order to fix, like, you know, to, to do your own thing with it. So instead of doing the power switch, you could do maybe a buildable gun, a buildable perk machine, etc. Um, if you guys have any ideas about what you think, I could do another tutorial for buildables. If for those of you guys who are having trouble with um, buildables, I could do another tutorial on a buildable, but a separate one like a perk machine. Maybe some of you guys wouldn't know how to do a buildable perk machine so that you could buy perks off of it or whatever. I could certainly do that. Uh, whatever you guys think, leave it in the comments. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you on my next video, which may be the Cheese Cube Unlimited uh, trailer coming out uh, fairly soon, but we'll have to see about that. Anyway, this is ZK signing off.